Hey, glad you could make it. Just not too loud, all right? She fell asleep about 20 minutes ago. Oh, sh should I uh come back later? Don't be daft. Stay. She'll be happy to see you when she's awake again. I think the Secret Service kind of likes having us here. Despite their initial reactions, one less high-level person to watch over, I guess. Isn't that right, Agent Sharp? You like us now. I wouldn't say that. Where's the other guy? The firefighter. Emerson? He should be up soon. He had to make a phone call. I don't think we were properly introduced. I'm Will. These two you remember. Derek and Jack. Linus is over there next to the girl. Then, after we left you guys, Brian and Jim here got her to the helicopter. I'm Alex. It's nice to meet the whole team. This is... impressive. Crazy to think that Emerson and I were only one link in the chain. Hey, an important one that kept my friend here from bleeding out. Shut it. You're just jealous of- Guys, me. shh, you'll wake her up. Amazing she fell asleep at all with all... Uh... This? Well, she must have been exhausted. Yeah, Jim and Brian were filling us in on what happened in the subway tunnel. The aliens found them and collapsed most of it. Crazy. Ever figure out how they tracked you down there? Best guess is that they were monitoring human movement all over the city. Must have seen an unexpected amount in the tunnels and decided to investigate. That would make sense. Persistent buggers. How's she doing? Seems to be healing well as far as I can tell. Vitals are stable. Hmm. That scar on her shoulder. Was it like that when she came to you? Uh, no. It was pretty freshly bandaged. That was by you, I assume? Yeah, it was. So, how is it completely scarred over already? That doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, she's waking up. Hey, darling. You're back with us. Oh, no, it's all right. You're safe. Good to see you again, hun. No, I didn't get a chance to introduce myself last time. I'm Alex. The hell is going on? We've got incoming hostiles to the area. We need to evacuate and get the first family safe. What? The president is already on the move towards the helicopter on the roof. I have to stay with the team, and I don't have enough agents to protect both. You need to take the girl. Are you kidding? She needs to stay still. I don't care what you have to do. Unhook her from the machines and get her to the roof. You two, come get your weapons from the next room. Protect her at any cost. I'll see you up there. What the fuck? You heard him, men. Derek, I'll help you get the weapons. Linus, Alex, get her ready to move. Jim, see if they need help. Jack, Brian, check the hall and other rooms. See if there's a stretcher. Own it. Hey. Hey. Look at me, lovely. It's gonna be alright. We'll keep you safe and get you and your mother out of here. Just take some deep breaths while we get you ready to move. You're doing great, miss. Focus on Jim, alright? We've got you. Should we try to take the lines and IV with us? I don't know how... Intense this is going to get. Bring them. We can always unhook if we need to. Gurney's the best we could find. Okay. Ready to move her, guys? Shh. It's okay. We got you. All right, on my count. One, two, three. All right, gentlemen, gear up. We need to move. Good thing the Secret Service already cleared most of the hospital before we got here. Otherwise, there'd be a lot more chaos right now. How the fuck did they find us again? I don't know. They scanned her and all of us when we arrived. No trackers. Get information around her. Derek and I will take the lead. Jack, take the rear. Linus, Alex, stay with her. Everyone else, fall in. 
Let's make sure the hall is clear and we'll move out. Yes, yes sir. sir. Clear. To the elevator. This way. That doesn't sound good. Double time. Elevator's just down the next hall. Sir? Should we risk it? If the building gets hit, the elevator could go down. Fuck. Jim's right. We need to take the stairs. This way. It's okay, honey. I'm just unhooking these lines. We're going to have to carry you. Take cover! (coughs) (coughs) Sound off. Do you have her? (coughs) She's here. Hey, hey, guys, off. Off of her. Hey, there you are, honey. Look at me. Oh, good. She's okay. We shielded her. Good work. (laughs) What the fuck do we do now? The elevator's blown to hell, and at least half the building is wrecked. How far ahead of us were the Secret Service? Shit! That sounds like it's coming from the elevator. They're trapped. We have to help them. The president could be in there. Let's move. Keep the girl towards the back. What was that? That's them. The aliens. They're here. Brian, Derek, help me get these elevator doors open. (sighs) 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 Fuck! The elevator's stuck. It must have dropped after the explosion. Or fell halfway down. Look, the hatch on top is open. Hello? Can you hear us? We're here. We need to get the president out. They're attacking from below. We're trying to hold them back. All right. Alex, Linus, Jim, stay with the girl. Keep her back there. The rest of us need to try and get the president out. We can do that. Hey, hey. Lie back, lovely. They're going to help your mom. You need to stay still. Such a little boy scout you are with your stupid fucking rope. (laughs) Who's laughing now? Hurry, we need to get down there. What's the plan? I'll climb down first and get the president. Guide her back to you. Then we'll see who else we can get. Sir, the chain of command says- That I'm in command. It's my call. I'm going down. Give me that rope. I'll tie this end around me. Take the other end and find something to tie it to. There's nothing stable enough. Then you better not let me fall, man. Throw me down a line for the president once I get her. We can't pull down much longer. They're almost in. We have to hurry. It's gonna fall. Be careful, sir. Here goes nothing. (laughs) All right. He made it to the top of the elevator. Brian, get the second line ready for the president. A moment. I'm here. Get the president to me. I'm not leaving you behind. Ma'am, you don't have a choice. Up you go. Take my hand. I'll pull you up. Thank you. Derek, the line! Start moving towards the side there so you can climb up while I tie this. Get my agents out of there. The aliens have been picking them off one by one. I'll do what I can. You're secure now. Oh, fuck, your arm. You can't climb. Derek, climb down and help her up. I'm going back for the others. Wait, we need a line for you. There's no time. I'll grab a line if the worst happens. (laughs) Madam President, shall we? How do we do this? Climb up using your good arm. I'll get right behind you and support you as we go up. Quickly now. Reach for my hand, ma'am. We'll pull you up. All right. Anyone that can, reach up to me. I'll pull you out. It's too late. Get out of here. Get the family safe. No. Give me your hand. No. Fuck. Ma'am, we have to get you out of here. Give us your hands. Uh, 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 
Derek, you're next. Get up here. Sir, there's nothing else we can do. We've got to go. Go. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Derek, reach for my hand. Come on. Got it. Sir? I'm here. Line's holding. Elevator's still there. It just dropped about 20 feet. I'm up. Pull the line in. Get him out of there. Get the fuck off me! Pull faster. Fuck, now there's two on him. Guys, 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 we're slipping! I'm coming. Pull. Too heavy. You have to let go. They'll just climb up me to get to you. Not an option, sir. We're not letting go. You have to. We're still flipping. We cannot pull them all out. Man, let go of the line. It's the only way. Like hell we will, sir. We're not leaving you behind. You don't have a choice. Our duty is to keep the president safe. Derek, cut the line. That's a fucking order! I'm sorry. Derek, don't! <laughs> ah! Will, no! Jack! Hey, hey, there was no other way, mate. Listen to me. There was no other way. We'd all be in danger if those aliens got up here. The president is right there. And she's safe thanks to Will's sacrifice. We cannot let him die in vain. Guys, I'm... I'm so sorry. Fuck you! Fuck orders! We could have found a way for you just taking a second to think, but no! You just... You just let him go! You gave up on him! Jack. I'll put a check on the girl. Madam President, are you alright? <sighs> I've had better days. Guys, I need the medics. She's hurt badly. Where, where's my daughter? <laughs> she, she, she's safe, ma'am. We kept her away from all of this. Linus, you have some more supplies. We need to get her stabilized. Y yeah, we should have what we need for that. Hang on, let me get my bag. Derek, listen. You made the right call. And you followed his commands to the end. Will ordered you to do it for a reason. He knew that you'd be strong enough to carry out his word. <sighs> Thanks, mate. Oi, go check on the girl, will ya? Roger that. Come on, Jim. Let's give the medics some room to work. Sweetheart? Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Stay down. Lie back. I know. You want to see your mom. We'll let you do that in a minute. Just... Give the medics time to get her stable. She's awake and talking, darling. She'll be all right. Will didn't make it. I'm sorry. Jack. Don't. Now what? Take cover! Madam President! No! Madam, are you all right? Uh, my daughter. <clears throat> are you guys okay? Yeah. What the hell happened? Oh no. The floor split in half. Aftershock from the elevator explosion, I guess. Is the building going to hold? Well, there's not a lot we can do if it doesn't, is there? Guys, are you all right? We're here. Is the girl okay? She's fine. What about the president? She needs help, but she's alive. How are we going to get across this? It's too wide and high to jump. There's no way. We can't. We're going to have to go on separately. We need to get them out of this building. How will we stay in contact? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. At least we have these. Can we reach anyone else? Someone outside here to come help. We're hearing your transmissions. Commander Hale, please provide an update on your status. Over. 
Repeat. He's dead. And so is the entire team that was protecting the president. We are all that's left. The team that rescued her daughter. The president is injured and under medical care. We're separated from the other half of the team. Uh, understood. What is the status of the first daughter? Still recovering from her injuries, but stable at the moment. We're stranded on what was the ninth floor of the hospital. I haven't seen any other staff. What are our orders? Stand by. I really hope they can send someone in to help us. Your instructions are to get the president and her daughter down to the bottom floor and out of the building. We will be able to provide extraction at that time. With all due respect, how the fuck are we supposed to do that? Aliens are crawling all over this place. We are unable to send further assistance until you can get clear of the building. If we were to launch an attack, the building could fall, and we can't risk that with the first family inside. Get them clear. Understood? <sighs> Understood. Check in at regular intervals. We will keep this channel open. We're doing this? We're not... I mean... You're the only ones who can. We have to rely on each other to get out of this. It's... Our only choice. Ma'am, please stay still. We need to get you stabilized. Everyone all right? Miss? Are you okay? Uh... Miss? What the- No, wait! Sweetheart, no! Hey, hey, easy, easy. You'd never make that jump. I know you want to be with your mom. It's gonna be alright, darling. They're gonna take care of your mom. We're gonna take care of you. Hey, look at me. You wouldn't make the jump. I'm not going to let you try it. No, no, no. Listen. I've got you. We're going to get you out of this building and back to your mom. Okay? We're going to do everything we can to protect you. But that means you need to work with us. Don't be reckless like that. I know how to use it. Kiddo, listen to me. Here, sweetheart. Talk to her. What were you thinking, kiddo? You should barely be up and about, never mind trying to jump that gap. I know. <coughs> I know you want to be down here with us. But the building is basically cut in half. We have to each get down on the other sides. Can you do this for me? Can you trust these men to help us? <laughs> I know. They did a good job last time, and I'm eternally grateful for that. I'm so sorry this happened. I'm sorry that you have to go through this after you've already suffered so much. But we're going to get through this. I raised a strong woman, and we can... <laughs> We can do this, right? Okay, sweetheart. Come on, let's have you lie back down. We'll be in constant contact with the other team, okay? Your mother's right. You shouldn't even be up after what you've been through. <laughs> okay, miss. Let's try this again, all right? Are you hurting anywhere new? That's good. I'm just gonna check you over again. Well... I guess we find the stairs on the other side of the building and start trying to get down. Right? Sorry, I don't know who's in charge right now. Does it matter? I think in an emergency it does. Job's yours then. And yes, I think that's the plan. Uh, team two? We're preparing to move towards the stairwell on the other side. Hopefully they're stable and we can start to head down. Copy that, team. Wait, why are you lot team one? This is what you're concerned about right now? <clears throat> uh, right. Once we've got the president stable, we'll do the same. Regular check-ins, yeah? Agreed. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon.
<laughs> Sorry, ma'am. I'm doing my best. I don't have a lot of supplies to work with here. Should I look around? See if I can find anything else? It couldn't hurt. Especially if you can find a board to carry her on. I'm pretty concerned about her attempting stairs right now. Mm, I couldn't manage. What's that? Stay here. Fuck! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm human, I swear. Emerson? Yeah, just me. Your friendly neighborhood firefighter, remember? I remember. Come on. I think your partner needs your help. I scout from her supplies. Then we need to get moving. I is that the- President, yes. Nice of you to join us. Dude, what the fuck happened? Uh, I made my phone call, came inside, and started going up to take the stairs to join you guys. Then all hell broke loose. I stopped on every floor I could, telling anyone left to take the stairs and get out. Then there was that earthquake? Bigger alien attack? I don't know. I got knocked around, but as soon as I got up, I kept moving back to your floor. Just in case you guys didn't get out. Looks like I was right. Well, it's nice to meet you, Emerson. Thank you for helping my daughter, and for helping others get out of the building. Uh, you're welcome, ma'am. Just doing my job. Found one of those boards, and I just grabbed whatever medical supplies weren't damaged. How long to get her stable enough to move? Wait, we're going back down there? Why? What's wrong? Well, uh, we'll be good for a couple of floors at least. But after that, the stairs are wrecked. Pretty much impassable with the debris. Especially if we're carrying her. Fuck! Uh, sorry, ma'am. Relax. All three of you need to relax. You think I care about fucking swearing right now? I've heard things you can't imagine and said worse. Refer to me as ma'am, and don't treat me like you're afraid I'll break. Given your injuries, ma'am, we're a little concerned you might. <sighs> you know what I mean. So, what do we do? We're going to have to check each floor as we go down. See if there's a way to get across. Jack? I mean, uh, Team One? We have a problem. Is the president alright? Well, as well as she can be. No, the problem is with our plan. Emerson found us and he told us the stairs on this side direct a few floors down. We're going to need to check each floor to see if there's another way across. That's assuming the stairs on our side are okay. But yeah, we'll keep an eye out. Good. Team two out. All right, Doc. Ma'am, let's get you fixed up. Uh, Brian? Um, sir? Can I talk to you for a second? It's all right. Brian will do just for now. So, the girl? Alex and I noticed that her wounds seemed to be healing at an accelerated rate, and that seems to still be the case. From what she went through less than 24 hours ago, she shouldn't have been able to get up and run like that. What are you saying? I, I'm not sure, but we don't know what the aliens did to her, and I saw on her back something weird. It looked like a bruise, but it's not. It's this strange discoloration. You think they did something to her? Yeah. Well, there's not a lot we can do at the moment. Just keep an eye on it. Did you tell her? No, I didn't want to scare her. Good call. I really hope you're wrong. But it's just another reason to get her out of here safely, right? Y yeah. Uh, hey. Y you okay? Uh, not really. This is crazy. I mean, I know I fly around in a helicopter as my day job, but this? Aliens? I know. And if something's happening to her, I'm not a scientist. What if I screw this up? What if I do the wrong thing and- Oh shit, that was totally a HIPAA violation. Lannis, breathe. You're doing fine. We've got your back. We're gonna get through this, alright? Yeah. 
I don't expect you to have all the answers. Hell, I don't either. We can just make the best decisions we can and keep moving forward. Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. There's the door to the stairs. We're gonna need to carry her. Linus, is that safe? I think with her current status, yes. I would suggest a basket carry between two of us for the most stability. Jim, you and Linus carry her for now. I'll take point. Jack, you take the rear. Roger that. All right, lovely. Sit up slowly. Good. Now, put one arm each around me and Linus. That's it. We're going to go behind your knees and... That's it. Off we go. All right, we made it down a few floors. Let's take a break. Set her down slowly. You doing all right, miss? Sweetheart. Hey, stay with us. Look at me. There you are. What happened, miss? You kind of spaced out for a second. You heard something? Besides us talking? Okay, okay. Hey, we're here. We've got you. We're not going to let anything happen to you. Can you describe what you heard, miss? Aliens? What? Where? What do you mean, throughout the whole building? You... We can't hear them. Darling, look at me. It's gonna be alright. Now this might just be your mind playing tricks on you. Your fear making you think you hear them all around. What? You hear one getting closer? Listen. I don't hear anything. No. No, lovely. It's okay. We just don't hear... Linus, get her behind cover. Darling, are you all right? No, 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 no. Hey, it's okay. Miss, please, just breathe. Hey, no one said anything like that. Just calm down, darling. One thing at a time. Now, Linus didn't mention it because he didn't want to frighten you. But it looks like the aliens did something to you when they captured you. Your body is changing. You must have noticed your wounds are healing faster than normal. They did what? We don't know. There was a mark on her back that Linus was watching. But it seems that along with the healing, you can hear them? Or is your hearing just more sensitive overall? Can you hear anything else? Just them? All right. N no, miss. It doesn't look like an infection or a virus. I'm a bit out of my depth here, but your heart rate is steady, and if anything, you seem healthier than you otherwise would be after what you've been through. So she's... changing? <laughs> miss, <laughs> stay here. Lovely. Look at me. Nothing is changing here. Not between us. We're going to get you out of here. And when we do, we're going to get you to good doctors to figure all of this out. 
None of that has changed, no matter what they did to you, okay? No, I'm not afraid of you. Hey, hey, shh, come here. Hold on to me for a minute, all right? That's it. I'm here. I'm not letting go. I know you're scared. We all are. But don't pull away from us, okay? We're going to get this all figured out. I promise you. Come on, sweetheart. Come sit down for just a minute before we start moving again. And hey, maybe we don't need to carry you this time. I mean, of course, we will if we need to. Of course it's no trouble. I'm not going to turn down an excuse to have you in my arms, lovely. Darling, I hate to ask, but do you hear any of them close to us right now? If we've got any advantages, we need to use them. All right. Good. And then let's get going. Uh, no. No way across on this level either. And we're getting close to the point where the stairs will be impassable. So, what do we do? We need to assess the risk of trying to cross the rift. See if there's a narrow place we could attempt it. Ma'am, you're in no condition- It's not as if we can just sit here and wait. The aliens are making their way through the building. We have to get out. Team 1. Have you noticed any possible places we could attempt to get to your side? Not that we've seen. No luck on your end? None. And we're coming to the point where we won't be able to continue down the stairs. We'll see if we can figure out a way to help from here. How's my daughter? Uh, she's doing well, ma'am. She... Uh... Let me talk to her. Here, lovely. I know there's not exactly much privacy here, but... Could you give us a moment? Of course, Madam President. And whoever's listening from the Secret Service, butt out for a minute. I need to talk to my daughter. What's that about, then? Well... You know something? Maybe. It may not even be what's up, but... Linus and I noticed some anomalies when we were examining her. That gash that I patched up? It's almost healed already. That's only in a matter of hours. We wondered if maybe... They did something to her. Yeah. If that's true, she must be terrified. We're done. Ma'am, are you alright? You look... I'm fine. <clears throat> I'm a parent too. I can't imagine what you're going through right now, but if you want to talk about it, I'm a good listener. <laughs> She's a grown woman. I'm betting it doesn't change anything, though, does it? Still feels like a piece of your heart is walking around outside your body. And apparently infected by aliens. I'm sorry. If it's any comfort at all. Every man here can attest to what a strong woman she is. But I know you know that. They did this deliberately. But why? Is she... experiencing other changes? She's healing quickly, and she can hear the aliens now. She managed to warn them before an attack. Well... At least that gives them an advantage going forward. We're going to get both of you out of here and get this figured out. I don't see how, but giving up isn't an option. We should go. Thank you, Emerson. Let's stop for a rest here. I know you can keep going, darling, but it's good to take breaks. For water, if nothing else. All right, then, let them take a load off. Walk with me. Come on. Uh, we won't go far. I'll keep looking for a way across. 
Do you want to tell me what's on your mind? I know, darling. My mind's racing as well. Hey, look at me. You can tell me anything. Is there something else happening? Hey, hey, hey. It's all right. Listen. I know you're scared. I'd be terrified if I was in your shoes. But you're not alone. Whatever's happening can't change who you are inside. What's in your heart? I don't see you any differently than I did before. Come here. I promise I will get you out of this. Hmm? Even if you don't change back, I still feel the same about you. Uh, I mean, nothing's changing between us. A any of us, we're all here for you. You're welcome. So, I think there might be a spot they can cross here. You found a place where the gap closes? Uh, not exactly. There's still a hole, but it's the narrowest we've seen. I think we can reach across and help them. Use rubs to keep people steady. That kind of thing. <sighs> Sounds risky. It is. But they're out of time. Stranded over there unless we can do this. We only have a few more floors to go. I doubt they'll send reinforcements until we have the president down there. Show me. We'll be right back. Let's get over the gap. Figure out how to get everyone across. All right, ma'am. You ready to go? <sighs> yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. Come on, guys. We need to hurry. Ready? Lift on three. One, two, three. The fuck was that? Oh, fuck no. Team one, we're about to be under attack. If you can get to us, I'm going to need help. Alex, get the president to cover. Emerson, with me. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, it's been a long time. I need all the help I can get. Wait, I can shoot. Ma'am, you're in no condition. Stay back here with me. At least give me that gun. You look like you're about to use the wrong end. Yes, ma'am. Team 2, what's your location? Jack and I are coming to you as fast as we can. Fourth floor, in front of the stairwell. Retreat is blocked by debris. We need to Hang on, man. We're coming. Approaching the gap now. There's too many! We're not gonna make it! Team 2, report. We're down! Overrun! Stay back! Derek? Derek, come in. Someone answer! Let's go! No! If they're down there, it's too late. They've either been killed or captured. If we go in, we'll just be in the same boat. We have to protect her. We can help them. Jack! I'm not going through this again. I'm not fucking losing another friend today. I know, but listen. They knew who to target. They know who the president is. Odds are they won't kill her. We still have our mission. She needs us. We can't just leave them. We can't leave her. There's a chance they're alive. But if they get the first daughter as well, who knows what they're going to do? Come on. Shh. I've got you, lovely. I know. I know. We have to hope for the best. How is she? After the attack, she became inconsolable. Do, do we know? No. But there's a chance they've just been captured and not killed. Okay. Hey, sweetheart. I'm here. You're not alone. I'm sorry we couldn't get there, darling. But if I've guessed right, 
We'll hear from them soon. It's okay. We're all right here. We're here with you. And we're not going anywhere. That's right, sweetheart. What is it, darling? You gasped. You can hear them? The aliens? They're calling to you? What do they want? Specifically? Are they close? They have your mother. She's alive. I knew it. What? You want to trade? Hold it, hold it. Darlin, what exactly did they say? Child, meet downstairs. Trade for men and your mother. We need you. Our conduit. Go all their lives for you. For all time. Begin coming downstairs. And none will be harmed. Were you able to answer? Not to be rude, but why do they want her instead of the president? That doesn't make sense, does it? It does, since they've altered her in some way. She's the only one who can understand them. They need her. Well, fuck that shit, because we're not trading you for anything. But it's the president. So? Why should the weight of that decision rest on one person's life? You know her mother would strangle us if we go anywhere near them. What about the others? Can you really sit there and tell me that they'd want us to give up the woman we spent all this time protecting? It'd all be for nothing if we do that. Guys, this decision isn't up to us. Should we call? No. This decision belongs to Miss Carter. And her alone. Lovely. I know you want to protect your mother and the others. But there's absolutely no way to know what they want with you. What they'll do with you. Or if you'll survive. Sweetheart. Am I... Your hands... Glowing? What the hell? Okay, okay, just stay calm. Uh, here, stand over here. There, just, uh, take a deep breath. We're right here. Breathe in and out. Good. Miss, what does it feel like? Burning? Is it hurting you? Ugh. <sighs> Okay. That's good. Holy fuck. Did... Did you just shoot beams from your hands? Darlin, Darlin, look at me. Right here. There you go. It's okay, you didn't hurt anyone. N no you didn't. I promise you, breathe. No, no shit. Lovely. Hey. Hey, we've got you. Stay awake. <laughs> yeah, just like last time. Except not like that, because last time you actually fainted. Eyes open this time. Keep looking at us. Good. Just like that. So, um, whatever they did to you is also turning you into a weapon? How? Why? They don't know. There's no way they'd turn an enemy into a weapon. They've never done this on a human. They didn't realize this would happen. It's the only thing that makes sense. Hey, hey, no. No one's saying that. You're not a monster. You're an amazing person. Stuck in the middle of an insane situation. And you're not alone. This could be something we use to our advantage. Hey, you're the one that reminded me this is all about protecting her. 
And now you want to put her in the line of fire? And that's only if they don't know she's turning into a weapon. Jack, we don't have any cards left to play. Guys! This isn't helping. Everyone, just take a breath. <sighs> okay. Lovely. I think there's at least one thing we need to know before you make your decision. All right. Can you do it again? On purpose? Jim, are you sure? It's no good to anyone, including her, if she can't control it. That's good. Good girl. Sweetheart. I'm so sorry you've been put in this position. And if you want us to help you make this decision, we can discuss pros and cons, but I'm getting the impression we don't have much time. The options are take you down there to negotiate or try to sneak you out without them finding us. You know your mother's going to give everyone hell if you try to negotiate for her. But that's up to you. And we'll support whatever you choose. If he wants us to do everything we can to get you to safety, then that's what we'll do. What we've been trying to do this whole time. No. There's no way to know how this will go if we talk to them. We have your ability as an ace up our sleeve, but that's only if they don't know about it. It's up to you. What do you choose? <sighs> Your mother's gonna kill us. Alright. Let's get down there. How do we know they won't just kill us all on sight? We don't. But they went to a lot of trouble to implant her and make a translator. There's clearly something they want. Odds are in our favor. And... Sweetheart, listen, we're not going to let you do this alone. If they want you, they're taking me too. No way I'm handing you over to aliens on your own. That goes for me as well, darling. If they're taking you, they're taking us. Damn right. All right, team. Let's move. Emerson. Huh? Wake up. Wh where? Where the hell are we? I think they've brought us to the basement. What? What the hell is this thing? It's a force field. I'm guessing this is the kind of thing they were holding my daughter in. I think I'm too tall to even stand up in here. Uh... uh. Hey, Doc. Huh? Welcome back. Take it easy. Uh, this is the worst day ever. I know. Can you sit up? Take it slow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Derek, is he alright? Shit. He's still out. And he's hurt badly. Emerson, help me. With what? We don't have any supplies in here. Then rip your shirt. He's bleeding. Come on, bagpipes. We need you to wake up. Derek? Come on, buddy. Where the fuck are these assholes? Hey! We need help in here! You can't attack us and then just leave us like this. Get in here! What the hell? Ugh. What's all the racket? Oh, hey, there you are. Can you open your eyes? Mm, no. Uh, my head... Did you put pressure on that? Yeah, it's slowed a lot, but I don't know what else to do. Derek, wake up for us, buddy. Bagpipes, open your eyes. Don't call me that, you bull bag. Good. Keep your eyes open as much as you can. I... I'm fucked, aren't I? No. No, 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 no. Not if we get out of here quickly. You took the brunt of it, man. I tried to do what I could. They practically brought the ceiling down on us. Bastards. 
I am the fucking president of the United States. I demand to speak to someone now. Our military is standing by to blow this whole place to hell if they don't hear from us. Really? Yes, after a certain window of time. They'll leave it as long as they can. Just hang in there and try not to move. Yeah, that's not difficult. Everything. Everything fucking hurts. I'm so sorry. Ma'am, this is in no way your fault. I feel powerless. Just like when my daughter was taken. All the power I have, and I couldn't locate one person. This isn't like anything anyone on our planet has ever faced before. You're doing the best you can. And my best resulted in people dying. Ma'am, you're still blaming yourself for things you have absolutely no control over. I know that's terrifying, especially when it involves your child. But that doesn't mean that you're not doing an amazing job. You are. You're the president, not Wonder Woman. And even she would need help with this one. (laughs) I suppose you're right about that. Thank you. Can you help me get a little closer to him? Sure. Let me do most of the work, all right? Here, take my hand. Thank you, ma'am. We're going to get you through this. Just hold on. That's an order. (laughs) I'll do my best, ma'am. All right. It seems like they've congregated in the basement. So, one more floor to go. Now. Lovely. Are you absolutely sure you want to do this? All right, then. Come in. We're requesting an updated status. How is the first family? What is your position? Um. (sighs) The president's been captured by hostile aliens. They've demanded her daughter and trade for her and the other men. We left the decision up to her, and she's decided to negotiate. Are you shitting me right now? I'm not. Unacceptable. You'll pull your team back and evacuate the first daughter immediately. This is not her or your decision to make. It's her life and her mother. She damn well does get to decide. We'll do everything we can to protect both of them. Over and out. You are ordered to abandon this plan immediately and... We are all so fired after this. Everyone ready? Let's go. Asshole. Where the fuck are the others? Tell them they are alive for now. We want to see them. And I'm guessing you can understand us then? Follow. Okay. Lovely. We're right behind you. Derek! What the... Kiddo? What the fuck? Are you guys insane? You had one job! Get her out of here right now! I'm sorry, ma'am. She deserved to make her own decision. Alive! Now you come with us! They will free! What? You can understand them? That's what this is all about. You, you modified her to understand you and communicate. But why didn't you just take me? Just do the same goddamn thing to me and we can talk. Human, do we have a deal? Lovely. What are they saying? All of us for you? No way. 
Your mother's right. Get out of here. It's a little late for that. We're surrounded now. All in it together. Then we stay in it together. Kiddo, you tell them they keep all of us or none of us. Stop this. No. Stop. That's enough. Please, kiddo, run. Don't do this. Choose life or death. No, don't! Don't let her do this, please! You choose life. Come with us, and we will release them. What? That's right, you bastards. You want her? We come too. Package deal. No. You alone can't do it. Mother. We still have communications with the outside. I suggest you think about compromising, or we're all getting blown to shreds. Humans, you are strange. The way you cluster together, family or not. Choose then, three to come. No more. What did they say, sweetheart? Only three? Well, just don't pick Derek. He needs a doctor stat. And your mother's not much better. Shut up. Like hell, I'm not coming. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Honey, these two can't wait much longer. They need help. I don't mean to rush you, but you need to choose. Who's willing to go? I am. Like fucking hell you are, you have kids. I am. Count me in. Me too. Fuck it. I'll go if you want, but don't take both me and Linus. Someone needs to help keep these two stable. B but I'll go. If that's what you want. You choose. Derek. Are you about to fucking volunteer me? No, you moron. I just wanted to apologize. Will, it wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. Oh, and you think you can just sit there and say some last words? You're bloody coming back, do you hear me? Easy, easy. Stay still. It's your choice, lovely. Which three of us do you want to come with you? 